Hi there, let's review a little history here. I know that marijuana, camp, cannabis has been a vital part of our society. Before the Industrial Revolution, it was 80% of the world's commerce. That was a good reason for them to try to eliminate you as a grower, because that was the material that built homes, made beautiful clothes for me to wear, fine paper that does hold up much better than the trees we're killing and it does not destroy the ozone. In fact, it re-oxygenates the planet. So they, they made a prohibition way back then, but in the United States it actually began 101 years ago in 1913. By, by 1913, it was totally outlawed in the state of California, and the Hearst Press was spreading their lies and misinformation, which is the only basis that was used for this prohibition. By the time 1937 came around, several states had joined that prohibition and kept adding to the list. By 1950, we began to realize that what they had really out outlawed was this wonderful thing called cannabis. The greatest medicine known and the oldest medicine known to humanity, which has never killed anyone. Uh, people began to use it recreationally and try to write laws regarding to make changes. Since 1960, there was amorphia and then came normal. The most exciting thing that's happened is in the 90s, Students for Sensible Drug uh, Coalition are incredibly brilliant young people who are making a difference. And Young people all over this country have been educated thanks to the entrepreneurs and the internet and the fact that so many wonderful books, especially The Emperor Wears No Clothes, came back out in 1988. 88 was an incredible year for marijuana because also the DEA's own chief administrative law judge had had a chance to review the medical evidence and said that it was the oldest medicine to known, known to humanity and for a government to come between a patient's suffering and the benefits of this substance was unreasonable, arbitrary, and capricious. That decision came three weeks after I had been acquitted in the state of Florida because I had been using it to maintain the sight on my left eye. By then we had destroyed my right eye completely, both through ignorance and misinformation. I had thought marijuana was not safe and I had allowed all the cutting in my better eye till I was totally blinded in, 90, in 87 and in 98 I came to court with it. So and you, the, the support in Florida was amazing, amazing, amazing. You covered my trial, you covered all the things that happened prior to that and you supported me. Uh, Norm Kent, who is now the director of Normal, did it pro bono. Since then, I have discovered the history of the prohibition and can never stay home because in 1990, I met one Jack Hare who wrote The Emperor Wears No Clothes and who made me very much aware that we were arresting 250 to 300,000 people a year. But nothing has gotten better in spite of the hundreds of thousands of us who work endlessly and have been working for generations to change these laws. In spite of that, the lies continue. They still have the same arguments. The difference is that now, because of the youth learning from us, especially in the 90s, because of the dedication that comes with that youth, because of a sense of responsibility that comes as a result of using marijuana because once you enhance your awareness level by opening those receptors that you didn't use before, you become more aware of your responsibility towards yourself and the planet. And it is for that reason that I am saying, now that you know, and now that you've had hundreds of thousands of us who have been arrested repeatedly, yeah, we, we have joined this war, we've been forced to fight this war on us that they call the war on drugs. Drugs are not going to jail. 200, 200 and two, no, let's see, 25 million of us have been arrested. 2,000 every day still today. You cannot afford this prohibition at a moral level, at a medical level, at a financial level. So it's up to you to join those hundreds of thousands of us who have been working at it. And remember, most of us 
were not necessarily willing victims. We were hammered with a war on drugs and had no choice but to stand up for our self-preservation and survival in, in, instincts, which of course cannot be outlawed. You cannot outlaw self-preservation uh, self and survival. And that's what you're asking us to do if you maintain these laws. Please join us in this nightmare, whether you're in Alaska, whether you're in New York, whether you're in Oregon, where you're going to make it legal for anyone over 40, or whether you're still working on the medical marijuana. It is all urgent. The message needs to be loud and clear. The Substance Control Act is the hammer that shot that coffin for us back in 1970 when Richard Nixon hired a team of his own friends to tell him marijuana should be uh, decriminalized that it was no danger to anyone and he decided he was not going to reward the hippies no what were they called then bitniks who had stopped his war on vietnam and he appointed elvis presley as his first drug czar see how that went ignorance blinds us is what that proves repeatedly but you have broken through the dark night of ignorance when you made california legal back in 1996 the dark night of ignorance has ended. The dawn of day is here, and it's up to you to bring it into its full, beautiful sight. We need to end this prohibition at all levels. Hemp should be a vital part of our economy. Our farmers should be making money, not being thrown in jail. And you need homes that are much harder to burn down these days, especially in dry areas like Arizona, California, even um, a lot of fires in Florida. There's just fires all over that could be alleviated a great deal by building properly and not use so many chemicals everywhere for everything. One in every three of us is expected to have a cancer. Actually, I have been to a medical conference where some of the most brilliant people stated very clearly that today each and every one of us has a chance to acquire a cancer and most of it has to do with substituting this one plant with over 50,000 petrochemical products. So please, the ones of us who keep our immune system by using this plant stand a better chance of not getting the cancer, although there's plenty of it to go around to all of us. So please help us alleviate, help our planet, help the people, and stop this madness. Florida is trying to make sure that other people have a right to cultivate and possess their medical marijuana. And of course, we're with them in spirit. I am there in the spirit of gratitude. They are the ones who made it happen for me. And I know, so I know they're compassionate people if given the opportunity education is the key to all the answers that's what all the elders have taught me and most of them were younger than i am in fact my elders turned out to be kids from 18 to 25 to took to that road and we did every state in this country repeatedly for two or three years and then joined the hemp museum or he joined us actually with the cannabis action network and we continued to travel the country for another year or two uh, after that, all with the purpose of educating America, learning and teaching as quickly as we could pass it on to you. And it has paid off. I got you on my side. Thank you. And what surprised me was the reception that we got as we traveled. It wasn't like, oh, what are those old people talking to us about me? And they were all ears because they were not getting education. And we had that. They were getting there. That was a poor excuse for education. That was very sad to travel. And here, the stories these kids could tell of horrible parenting they had until 10 years ago when their daddy gave up the booze and started smoking pot. Only now, they had to say goodbye to him so they could throw him in jail for actually taking care of himself for once and for all. I mean, I had to deal with this. and trying to teach these children that not to give up, that they can change, that this is a bad story, but they need to share it with legislators. They need to put an end to it. That brings us to a very interesting part of this prohibition. In the states where we have ended medical marijuana prohibition, we have dropped in overdoses by pharmaceuticals. And I mean a whopping 26% we've dropped plus, 26 plus percent, considering that 78% of all deaths that are drug-related are with legal drugs and prescriptions 
I think you need to take note. In the States, when medical marijuana is a reality, we have dropped a 26 plus percentage of drug overdoses. This is an adult drug. This is God's precious herb gift. I take it in the spirit of Thanksgiving every day. Cannabis does have accepted medical value thanks to you. Again, 24 states have accepted it already and more will after this election. No doubt in my heart about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all of them. May the true spirit of love be your guiding light and end this madness.